people in this video we want to look at what NIH swab means so basically NIH swab is something like this it is used to collect specimen stool specimen you can say it is named after National Institute of Health USA so NIH swab means National Institute of Health swab okay it is used for what collection of specimen let's say example stool specimen so basically what it consists of it consists of a glass rod to one end there is cellophane tape which is put and the rubber band is put okay so this is cellophane tape this is the glass rod and here says a stopper so they use this they hold it okay and they take a swab of the perianal region so they just roll it over the perianal region for swabbing so the cellophane tape part remember the cellophane part okay so basically did you understand it consists of a glass rod one end of which a piece of transparent cellophane is attached with a rubber band so the red color is a rubber band here this is a rubber band this is the rubber band this is the cellophane this is the glass rod okay then what will happen it is fixed to a rubber stopper so you can hold it right and it is kept in a test tube whenever you want to take the perianal swab what you do you take this glass rod and roll this uh, cellophane cellophane part you roll it over the perianal area okay and then you keep it back in the test tube where is the test tube so here's the test tube with the test tube this is how it looks so you can see this entire glass rod with the cellophane and the rubber band goes into this test tube so you remove it swab the perianal area keep it back in this okay and then you return it to the lab in the lab what they will do they will open this uh, uh, cellophane and keep it under the microscope and examine it what will they see here basically if there are any parasites present so what parasites can be present in stool you have seen this video already parasites present in stool you can see protozoans the, the cysts and trophozoites like entamoeba histolytica giardia lamblia etc you can see the eggs of so many uh helminths like uh, tinea species hymenolepis fasciola sichistosoma ascaris so many things you can see you can see strongyloid stercolaris larva in stools right and you can see the adult worms itself like fish tape worm you can see the tinea worm you can see the ascaris lumbricoides adult worm entrobius vermicularis adult worm and the trichinella species adult worm itself you can So this is what you can see if you do this NIH swab. So in all the lab diagnosis of these organisms, you can write NIH swab. Okay. So basically, what is NIH swab? It is National Institute of Health USA swab. It is basically named after them, and uh, it is used for collection of specimen. So basically, it contains a glass rod, one end which is having cellophane with rubber band, other side there is a stopper. Then uh, you are going to take this perianal. Uh, you're going to roll it over the perianal area the cellophane part and you're going to collect the swab and keep it in the test tube send it to the lab the lab is trying going to extract the cellophane and examine under the microscope okay so this diagram you will have to draw if they ask so practice this diagram draw a test tube inside this draw a glass rod glass rod one end you put cellophane and rubber band the other end you can put a rubber stopper it's an easy diagram practice it that's all for now in nih swab we'll meet you in the next video bye bye